How rugged does a drone need to be to survive the harshest environments? Strong winds, sand, rain, and mission requirements that change in a matter of seconds. That question now has an answer. The unmanned aviation world is entering a new chapter, and amid the enormous challenge of creating a next-generation vertical takeoff and landing drone with a truly flexible, hybrid electric propulsion system built to withstand extreme conditions, Andril and Edge Group have emerged with a breakthrough that demands attention. Keep your eyes on this story. At the Dubai Air Show 2025, a new chapter in air defense history is being written by Edge Group. With a staggering commitment valued at more than 7 billion US dollars, this year's showcase is not merely an exhibition, it is a declaration of technological dominance. Among the 42 new products and solutions introduced, the spotlight is firmly on the Omen vertical takeoff and landing. It is the first product of the Edge Andrel Production Alliance, an ambitious partnership that combines the UAE's manufacturing expertise with the autonomous systems intelligence of American American defense tech giant Anduril. But investment figures and statistics are just the surface of this story. Omen's true strength lies in how it rewrites the rules of real battlefield operations. To understand Omen's revolutionary impact, let's leave the air-conditioned exhibition halls and step into real-world combat scenarios, where chaos and limitations are the norm. Imagine an isolated task force stationed on remote islands or trapped in steep mountain valleys. There are no smooth runways, communications are unstable due to enemy interference, and logistical supplies are running thin. In conventional situations, deploying a manned helicopter is too risky, while ordinary small drones lack the power to carry heavy loads or fly long distances. This is where Omen emerges as a low-logistics, high-performance solution. As a Group 3 unmanned aircraft with a tail-sitter design, Omen requires no airport infrastructure. It stands upright like a rocket on rocky ground, or a narrow ship deck, ready to launch with only two crew members and minimal preparation time. Once its engines ignite, it shoots vertically into the sky, then transitions into horizontal flight like a conventional aircraft. This capability gives it long-range endurance that ordinary quadcopters simply cannot match, while preserving the vertical takeoff agility fixed-wing aircraft lack. In communication-denied environments, Omen doesn't just fly, it thinks. Powered by Andril's Lattice for Mission Autonomy software, Omen can independently navigate harsh environments. Imagine it carrying urgent medical supplies or ammunition to the front line, evading enemy radar, and instead of returning immediately after delivery, shifting roles on the fly. Thanks to its modular architecture, Omen can loiter at altitude, turning itself into an airborne signal tower to restore troop communications below, or it can use its advanced sensors for ISR missions along the coastline, ensuring no follow-on threats approach. This flexibility is made possible by its lightweight yet durable, foldable airframe, which allows easy transport by land or sea. Whether for post-disaster search and rescue missions, vital logistics delivery, or long-range air defense operations, Omen is a truly multi-mission platform. The aircraft's development builds on Andoril's $850 million US dollars research investment since 2019, now reinforced by nearly $200 million US dollars in fresh funding from EDGE. The two giants are targeting full-scale production by the end of 2028, promising widespread availability for modern armed forces. Do you think Omen is ideal for the battlefield? That's all for today, and thanks for watching.